Hello, hello. I have some great <clears throat> painting I want to share with you. This is the, the One Stroke World with Donna Dewberry live on YouTube, on my Donna Dewberry YouTube channel. And I wanted to come in and paint some, paint some fabric today and paint some other fun projects that I think you will love seeing and that it might inspire you that you can paint too. So I want to think about, I want you to think about how many out there have ever wished that you could paint, but you don't know that you can. Hi, Susan. How are you? So welcome, welcome to a One Stroke this afternoon, a One Stroke Live. I'm going to paint on some fabric and share some fun things with you. I also um, we're going to really quickly pull out some codes to share with you. I am making sure <laughs> that I have this right. <laughs> okay. So, um, and I have some codes to give you for discounts on my website. Hello, hello. Hi, Lori. We've got a couple of Lori's on here. And Cindy, welcome to um, my live on my YouTube channel. And it's one stroke painting today. And I'm going to share with you some really fun painting on fabric. Here's a cute little fabric project I did um, with or some painting chicks. And these are some of my campers in my camping class. And here is the back of the shirt. This is a packet I just came out with. And so I wanted to share with you what packets mean. I'm so happy to be here today. Well, I'm happy you're here, Buttercup. Buttercup, is that your name? Hi, Miss Kim. <clears throat> it's good to have you guys on. Thank you. I'm loving to get new people who haven't painted before. Love you guys that have painted with me before and <clears throat> got lots to share with you. Um, well, thank you. I'm, I'm glad you like it. We sold a ton of these packets, but I, I kind of want to go over a little bit before I start painting um, uh, to kind of show you what a packet is. Um, I have some really fun, I have one right here in front of me. Where is it at? Uh, I wanted you to see that um, I have so much stuff in front of me. It's crazy, uh, which is good because I'm excited. I got lots I want to share with you. Hello, Amani. Hello, hello. Um, so I want you to see, here's one that was a mystery class, which you don't know what you're painting when you start. All right. So this is a mystery class that we did. And nobody knew what we were painting until we got each stroke made. They pretty much went, oh, it's a wreath. But they had never done this kind of greenery and the hydrangeas they like. Hello, Miss Teresa. Um, so what I wanted to share with you is on my site, on onestroke.com, um, you can get the packets to paint everything that I, um, I create. Each month I do a new packet. And the chicks on the shirt was this month's packet uh, for April. But I just want to show you a little bit about what's in a packet, okay? Hello, hello. Sorry, you're starting out with, let's do the, the branches, all right? And here is where we're coming from, okay? And so I'm showing you step-by-step -step and how-tos on each step of the bow. Can you see that? So then we start working on the greenery with a worksheet. And then look how it gets. So you can put any color you choose to do. I've been a fan since QVC. Woohoo! That's a long time ago. Those are some really good days at QVC. That's where um, I even broke the computer once because we had 700,000 people, bam, come on uh, for one stroke painting. And so that happened in the UK too. They were like, what the heck? Where'd this lady come from? All right. And, be, and what they did was they had me come to the UK and to London. And as we got on, they, they did teases that I was going to be on. And I sold out before I even went on air. So they let me go on air for a few minutes just to demonstrate so people could see I really was in the UK. All right. So there you go. Step by step. Good pictures. See how you can see. Um, so let me explain something to you. On the back page of all my packets, this is considered a packet, um, a one stroke packet with pattern, a pattern packet, different kinds of packets. So, uh, oh, I'm backwards, aren't I? All right, I can flip it so y'all can see. Um, so where am I at? Uh, 
I want to not flip the wrong thing because I just did that the other day in class that I was unhappy. All right, flip there. Okay, so now I think y'all can read it. Uh, oh, I got paint on this. That's why it's not moving for me. Okay, there we go. All right, so hello, Miss Gloria. Hello, hello. All right, we got people from New Hampshire and Australia and a few other places. Okay, so that tells you your brushes, paints, and everything you need to pull so you can pull them before you start. And then this is what the patterns look like. I make full-size patterns. So here you go. This is for 16 by 20, so you can shrink it or enlarge it. All right, so that's the bottom, and here's the top of the pattern. So you have, you just tape it together and trace the full-size pattern on. Now, I never used to use patterns, but so many people are trying to gauge the size when they're not in person, so that helps you. I just got my book on murals, but you didn't sign it. Oh, <laughs> bring it to convention. I'll be glad to personally sign it. All right, so... So that's the packet. So there's different packets, you know, with parrots and these are sticks. I don't know, porch leaners and they're one by fours. You go to the hardware store and chop them 32 inches long and look at all the sticks that we do. And lots of people do those all during the seasons. All right. Now this is one of my favorites. This is one of my, um, one of those good selling ones. And I even have a stencil that helps you do all those jars. So all the jars are perfect for you, the shapes and everything of them. But this is my lavender bottle garden. And I love, love, love this. I'm going to pull out uh, full size patterns. And here is, I'm not going to go step by step. You have to go back and watch. Okay. I'm going to pay for you guys on fabric today. So look, so there is a close up of everything that you paint. See the shelf? I call them uh, bottle gardens and they're on a shelf. And I'm just so excited to share with you what happens. We have for new people, I have t I had um, 28 people the other night and they all did this in two hours. Only three of them ever painted before. Um, so look, so this is what I was teaching them. And this is what they came up with. All right, so look how fun. Really quick and easy. That's called an EDU pack, which is an education pack, which is a very, it's got <clears throat> six pictures, six patterns. So 12 people can sit there, you know, and share it and, and paint together. So that makes really uh, fun for girls camps for, you know, um, um, sleepovers with your buddies. These are many little teeny canvases and look how fun. There's like a variety of packets inside of them. Those are called mini wreaths. And let me show you one more and then we're, we're going to paint. All right. So this is seascape. So this is bonus. You get four designs. You get the, uh, this one where you're learning all kinds of clouds and a picket fence. And then this is, look at that light in this one. It's, there are 14, I love my 14s, a wave over here. See the wave and how quick and easy that is. And all kinds of flight of um seagulls all right so patterns make it really easy now um i'm gonna show you for all you guys who just came on i am doing um youtube live with donna or one stroke live wanting to share with you all the fun beautiful day in idaho uh, my son works in um right oh wait a minute i'm losing it yes he lives in utah works in idaho yeah all right, so look, this is the code. You go to onestroke.com and you put in, when you're checking out 9624, you save $10 on every 50 that you spend, okay? So $10 on every $50 that you spend. And so we are a small uh, family business, so we're not like Amazon. It doesn't come overnight, but usually within the week, we are able to ship it out to you. So unless a whole bunch of people buy the same thing, then we sometimes have to put in an order. Okay, so so in these packets, I have fabric packets too. So you can look and it says fabric painting. And on the fabric packets, what will happen is you have step by step by step of painting what we're gonna be painting. Like, let me show you one more time, this little guy. All right, so this one I just finished. 
All right, so this is just a, a Amazon shirt I bought, and it's better if you use a blend, not 100% not cotton, because it doesn't wash as well, and it doesn't stay vivid for as long. But this kind of material is kind of silky. This was $18 for the shirt. It's a woman's shirt on Amazon. So those were my painting chicks um, from our my local painting group. I decided to paint them. And then this is the back. It's a country. We're having a convention. Is that aren't the, aren't the chicks cute? Um, it's a we're having a convention. It's called um, Country Charm. So this is the Country Charm shirt, and we're gonna have a fashion show. And so people get this packet, and then they do their own version of my shirt, and they add wonderful things to it. And we have a whole fashion show, so it's really fun. So I want you to see. I don't know if you can look really close. See the black lines there? I do that with an Identa pen, okay? And it's got two ends to it. So you can get these right on my site. I encourage you to get two, um, only not just to sell them to you, but the one is a, a small tip on this end, and this is a large tip on this end. And what people do is that they tend to like, um, depend on the fabric or, or um, whatever they will, go back like I went back afterwards and I went and put a little bit more detail in in the flowers with identa pen and but if I don't have patience so if I happen to go in there when it's not totally dry then it kind of gums up your tip and so I've been at a convention trying to do it in my room and I so I just want you to know sharpie pens fade when you wash them all right so if you want it to stay black and crisp Make sure you use this Identa pen as a permanent marker. We used to do those in our gym clothes. I know that's dating myself, but I'm just saying. All right. So, and that cute. Well, I have fun ways for you to do painting that isn't really hard uh, for you to, to try the looks that I'm going to show you. All right. I do have other product that I want to show you, but it's all about packets. It's all about brushes. And to do one stroke painting, you need good brushes. All right. Um, just at the end, I'm going to show you some more fun stencils that I have that I work with with my painting um, with my look at this background stencil that made that whole piece instead of just a white or a solid background. All right. So this is just a 12 by 12 and really pick, this is called cherry blossoms. So that's right on my site. There's some that are like this that are I didn't make. And then there's others that are the ones I've made, which I'm going to use a little bit later with you. And then here's like I have done all kinds of roosters, but this is a three pack of rooster designs. So just when you're looking, be looking and see if you can find something you'd really like. All right. So this is what I'm doing today. I have this is a pattern. So I drew with a pencil or, or an Identa pen. And then I'm going to turn this down so you can see. Welcome, welcome, everybody. I am glad that you guys came on today and now I'm going to be upside down. So give me a minute and I'll flip it over and I look like a mess here. So, <laughs> so ignore me, please. Um, ignore the mess. Don't ignore me. All right. So I'm going to turn myself around. There we are. Okay. So I'm taking up a lot of space on here. So I just want you to see. Um, let's go off of here really quick. Come on. There we go. All right. So I have it on a board. I use foam core board a lot. All right. Oh, here's my pattern. Then I make it into a pattern that goes in a packet. Okay. So look at, there's all kinds of these um, packets. So go check them out. So you slide this underneath this a shirt. So you want a light color or a light box behind you. Okay. So I started this so that I could get this in here for you. All right. Where am I? Right there. Okay, so I want you to see you get it in, and you can see it better than I can see it. All right, so what I'm going to do is I just come here, I pull, I stretch it really tight, and I need more clips. I use different kinds of clips. All right, now see how I'm pulling it to me? It's hard to go, it's hard to go reverse. 
All right, this is really easy if I, like when I did it on this shirt for my chicks, it was really easy because I was pulled it tight and it's silky. This is a blend. You want to make sure you have a blend because it holds up way better and it's also easier to paint. Now, I was looking for a sweatshirt, but in Florida, they have no sweatshirts right now. All right, so look, so I'm going to pull the little leaves. Now, some of it I paint and just put this on afterwards, okay? So long leaves. All right. All right, can you kind of see what I'm doing? Look, if I pull it back, that was better. All right, and then I'm going to come in here with some purple. All right, so lighter colors. Make sure you have a blend of color, a blend of, of fabric. This is stretchy. It does not say on this one what the blend is. But you can, I'm left-handed. Really? <laughs> I just fixed it, I guess, when it was up. When it was up, I was... All right. This is not rolling for me because I've got paint on the bottom of it. All right. I do want it up there. I hope I don't have to do this again. What the heck? Maybe I can make it look better over here. Oh, it's gone. All right. All right. So I'm going to take my paint and I'm going to use my regular acrylic paint. I have some different kinds. I have multi surface and then I have some metallics. All right. And this is my double loader. So just remember this double loader has a lid that goes on here. It's got a lid that goes on here. It's got a sponge that you dampen and you put this on there and you close it up. Am I right-handed now? I have one stroke of vintage tonight. No, it's tomorrow night. It's Tuesday night this week. Okay. So that will keep the paint fresh so you can come back later and later and still use it. Okay, so now we have textile medium. All right, so the textile mediums right here is the fluff that's inside the no floaty mediums, the fluff that's inside the paint. All right, this is a textile medium, meaning that you can use any paint that you want um, that we have in multi surface to use it by. Now, this is going to be backwards now, so I don't know, or is it? I don't know if y'all can see that it's nine six two four. Gives you $10 off any $50 order. And it is onestroke.com. Okay. To go find all my packets and things I wanted to share with you. All right. So I'm going to take and put out, pull out some, let's get some brushes here. All right. So hello. I'm still left handed. What the heck? All right. It's just giving me a bad time. Okay, now I'm right, right? Okay, I'm right-handed, right? So then this should work, right? Yay! <laughs> so all you guys that are on, it's 9624onestroke.com. It gives you, this is a code when you're checking out. It gives you $10 off $50 or more order, okay? So check it out, all right? So if you're a member of One Stroke Advantage on YouTube, you get a 20% off all orders anyway. So that that's just added for those people who are kind of new. All right. So what I want to show you is that I'm going to take a flat brush. Now I'm going to, this is my three quarter inch brush. I'm going into textile medium. Okay. Then I'm going to get here some, um, this is horse moss. It's just a muted green. And I'm just going to pick up that medium. And that is what keeps the paint from um, washing out, okay? I mean, if you've ever got paint on your clothes when you were painting, it doesn't come out very easy anyway. 
but this makes it stay soft also. So you can order the big bottle. Uh, you can get two ounces, but we go through a lot if you do a shirt or some or a few clothing. So this is eight ounce and we have that textile medium for you. All right. So, so see, I'm putting some of this in areas where I am not going to try to make it perfect. I just want it to be um, a dry brush area. See that? Just so floaty. Hello, Miss Melissa. How are you? Okay, so see, so you're just getting some of that in there and it's going to give you a nice muted background. Okay, do you see that? So, and then some of the painting we're going to make more intense in a different way. All right, so we're going to stroke some here inside. And then we're going to do some out here. All right. So it's just kind of shadowed. Does it look shadowed in the background? Just a little bit. All right. And you can come back and add more onto this later. All right. And I'm going to get more medium and I can blend a little bit of the brighter green. Okay. And we fill it in like watercolor. Okay. So keep adding the medium. And if you, there's a little tricks, I do all kinds of little tricks. Some of them I will take and spray water and make it bleed. I've got some of those I can even show you. I'm so excited to see you next week. I know. <laughs> I'm going to North Carolina um, for a bunch of you gals. I'm going to be in North Carolina. We even have some guys coming. Um, and then if y'all are available, anybody, I'm going to be in Orlando by the Orlando airport and embassy suites for once a year. It's an annual uh, painting convention right by the airport. So it's easy to fly in and we do lots of beautiful one stroke projects and you can learn so many ways to um, become a teacher, to just come and enjoy We've got, you got time from now to then to practice up a little bit on one stroke and come paint with us. We've got lovely people that will hold your hands and help you paint. We've got all kinds of, I'm even doing some ornaments, um, uh, nativity ornaments and stuff. I'm just, I'm not telling all the secrets, but now see, now I'm picking up the little bit of sap and uh, that moss color. And look, you can put a few leaves or not many leaves. You can come back and put more leaves later. Now, see, that's pretty fast. It gives you a background, right? Okay. Hi, hi, hi. Oops, guess what I don't have? I need paper towels. Oh, there. Okay. So now what's going to happen? Let's start a flower. You want to see a flower? Makes it fun. All right, I'm going to take my 16 flat. Okay, 16 flat. And I am going to work on, remember for you newbies that are coming on, this is my double loader. I can put a lid on it and it's got a sponge that you um, dampen and put in there and it keeps the paint fresh for weeks. So if you don't get finished, you can just put your stuff up. I just got paint all over that edge. Okay, so, and this is textile medium. I'm putting them in the middle. So, so I like this to stay soft, the fabric to stay soft. And so this is a great way to do that. All right. And what we're going to do first, um, I'm going to, first of all, let's come in here with some of medium and some white. And let's pick up some pink here. Okay. So you can use, we already have pink, so maybe I need a little bit of magenta. Let's see. Yes, let's get magenta because that's not going to show up very well. All right. Hello, Gina. Hello, hello, guys. As exciting to be on. I haven't been on for over a week. And that's not like me. I'm usually on, on, on. Okay, so now look at this. I'm going to pick up the medium. And it gives you kind of a watercolor look. Okay, so I'm getting the pink and the white right here. You can come over here and work it in if you want. 
Okay. So you're just filling in where we've already inked it. So it kind of gives it a cool look. I was going to tell you that I, um, some of my designs I've done with spraying it with painting it like this and then spritzing it with water with spray, uh, spraying some water on here and it makes it blend and blur and looks like it's running watercolor. So it's kind of fun. Oops. See, I got carried away there. I don't want to go into my white flower. Okay, so I'm going to go all the way around. She's coming to North Carolina. Yeah. All right. So let's pick up some more with medium. All right. So see, that doesn't look too hard, right? All right. So now what I want you to see is that we do have some coming up here. But before I do that, I'm going to take this and I'm going to go right into the June berry. All right. So the June berry is going to come right along in here and it's a little bit darker. All right. So see, I'm going to come all around here and this is going to be yellow in the middle. Uh, hello, Chrissy. Hello, hello. Thank you guys for being on today. I'm excited to be sharing fabric painting with you. I want you to see we're just working it in, working it in. We can pick up a little bit of pink in here. All right. So look. So you see I used Juneberry. Then I came up in here and did some pink. All right. So what's going to really make that look even better? Just get the medium so it makes it really soft. Okay, now watch this. Okay, so I've got the darker right in the middle. I can even get some dioxazine purple even, make it even deeper there. See that? All right, so I'm going to wipe this off. And I'm going to grab, I don't want to sit this on here and get any paint. Let's put that there. I'm going to get some little bits of white and where this is wet so you can come in dipping it in white dipping it in white so isn't that pretty it starts giving you that bright look i need to buy some new shirts i want to paint my roses and stencil words on it that's awesome i just went to walmart and got these for like $7 a piece. And I'm teaching tomorrow. We're doing lots of fabric paint at um, my studio with my students. And so I wanted to have some extra shirts. And my shirts are pretty worn out, man. I mean, I talk about years. So I thought I need fresh. So that's why I'm excited about the country charm one I just finished. Okay, so look how pretty that turns out. All right. Um, I have a little trick too. I don't, I don't know if you can see. Nice to use, used to go to, but now I shop Amazon. Oh, I know. Listen, it's so much easier, but I wanted to touch the fabric and I waited too long. So I the shirt I got, the chick shirt, guys, I told you I got it at Amazon. It was great. And then it saves you time running the store shopping. Okay, so I'm going to put yellow, right? So I want, I've still got the 16, the 16 brush. All right, we're going to go yellow in here, put a little bit of yellow ochre, and we're going to make stamens in that a little bit later, but we let it all kind of dry before we do that. Are you liking learning how to do this? Does it sound fun to you? So I'm going to come right in here and do another row of the pink. So this is the, the, the front petals that lean up over the center. Can y'all see that? So see how the line show through? Sometimes I do go back with IdentiPen when everything's dry and put a little um, lines in it and just accent it a little bit more. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is come back in here and 
See, put a little bit, see that flower that goes that right here that goes in front. All right. So look, now I can come right in the bottom here and make it darker. See right under here. And that's fun. I'm having a good time doing it. I have a I have to get everything out to do my fabric paint, but when I do, it makes me happy. All right. So you glad you caught it, Harriet? That's good. This is another fun thing for us to paint. Now, I have some spots that are dripping on here, but I got a trick at the end that makes it really, really easy to fix. All right, so here's the next thing I want to do. I've got another pretty flower here, but I want you to look at this. I'm going to come in with the same brush, and I'm going to get medium, and I'm just going to dab this in here. So this is neon and violet pansy, neon purple. So check out my neons on our site. They're wonderful. All right. And they give you a vivid, bright color that you can't get anywhere else. Okay. So now, see, I'm just doing, a, just like those leaves, I wanted to make it really kind of muted. Okay. And let's come down here. Get some more neon and violet. Okay. See how I'm grabbing it? I'm grabbing both colors. So what I like to do is just take the corner of the brush and slip, slap, slip, slap, slip, slap. All right, just the corner of the brush. Hi, Citra. Hello, hello. Thank you. Isn't this fun? I'm just showing how quick and easy to do fabric paint, okay? Because... Um, when I spritz it with water and this blurs, it looks like watercolor. That's really fun too. All right. I am going to just grab it because it's an apron that's right um, next to me. And then we're going to paint the watercolor. I mean, this real pretty white flower. Okay. So see, we're going to just put little bits of lavender. And I'm going to come back and add more to this because you're going to see... Let's get up here and let's do dark purple. This is dioxazine purple right here. Okay. And then I'm going to add some white to come back with some other uh, pretty colors in here. See, we want it really dark right in there. See, that's not as dark as that. Then I'm going to come back here to the violet pansy. Oops, there's supposed to be white right in there. Okay, so let's get some neon and hit this up here. Neon feels like a gel, guys, so it's going to look really good when you use that, too. All right, so it's kind of fun, right? I shared a short you made with the purple flowers. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Gina. All right, I'll be. let me grab this other uh, apron really quick so y'all can see. All right, so this one, I'm going to keep going. This is on a really light pink, and I really like white because it makes a big difference, but I want you to see that this, I painted those real strong and then spritz it with water, and I, I spritzed all that, and I made sure I left this not wet in that area. Every place else I wet it, I did it with a spray water bottle, all right? But this makes a nice, fun apron. I like it when it blurs out. Hello, Della. Hello, hello. All right, so that's a hummingbird one that I created that we did. All right, and that's in a packet, too. So I was sharing with everybody, if you didn't get to watch, if you go back in the beginning, with me using packets, um, me making packets for you guys to learn some of the stuff I'm showing you right now. And you're going to get that $10 off every off any $50 order, or you can make multiple $50 orders, but usually you save money with the shipping if you put enough in the shipping, especially stencils. Just to let you guys know, uh, we put them in a nice um, hard um, packing envelope, and when we just ship stencils, so um, even up to six stencils fit in there for the same shipping. So 
So think about that. If you just buy one stencil pay shipping for one, it makes it more a lot more expensive. Okay, so this is um, an eight flat, and I just put some more green. Okay, so now you saw me with this. I've been about, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes at the most. I really didn't take that long, but I'm just saying that. All right, so now I want you to see this is to the touch pretty dry right there. So <laughs> thank you. It's going to be pretty hot with this like peachy pink behind. Oh, that's the other thing. You really need to, as soon as you draw this, uh, okay, you need to pull out your pattern because guess what I just did? I ruined the pattern. All right. So after you draw the inking, pull it out before you paint. I did that on purpose so you could see how to fix it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not funny, am I? All right, so now let me show you the white. All right, so I am going to pick up water and then I'm going to go right back and pick up white. Oh, I was just going to get ready to do this yellow. Let me show you. Yellow, okay, on this tin and some white. Okay, so look what happens. All right, now you can come and still do some black inking in here if you want to. Oh, isn't that pretty? So you're going to come right in here and pull this pull, pull on the chisel. All right, see how that makes that really pretty? Perfect to use of all your upside down bottles of paint. Yes, <laughs> pre-mix and textile medium. You probably could, yeah. That would probably get be a very good idea. All right, so medium and white. Okay, so look what happens. I'm just going to get some medium and white. So you can have strong areas and light areas, like strong white. All right, to get some more. Are y'all having a good time yet? I'm going to show you a stencil fabric piece real quick after this little white flower. I just want to do the whole thing so that y'all could see this. All right, medium and white. Let's see, I've got other colors in my white now, so I could get fresh white, but I'm going to keep going. Okay, now I love using my white on here like this. I just really think it makes it Okay, but what's kind of fun is it makes your flower look like it's a little peachy underneath. All right. Thank you, Ramalda. Isn't that kind of fun? All right. So this is what I show you. All right. So I'm going to come up here. All right. A little bit more white here. Okay. Now what happens when this dries, that black's going to show through. And I can then take the identipen and go over those lines because they're going to show through and make it even prettier. Okay, so then let me show you what I did. I kind of came out under here with the pink. Just a little bit there and a little bit there. There's some more pink like right under here. See, so just little bits. All right, then I did take some Juneberry and up in here, that's in the center of the flower. Okay, we'll put a little bit of Juneberry. Okay, and now I'm going to take that yellow brush again. So my tin flat with white, the white's not going to show too well. But what it is going to do is bring a lighter yellow. Okay, I'm going to do yellow ochre. Yellow ochre and yellow. Daffodil yellow. See how that yellow comes in there? So if I come right here and tap yellow ochre there. There you go. All right. And let's get some more white in there. Okay. See that? Now, I got on early for the One Stroke Evangelist tonight, and you're already out. Ver Veronica, mother, One Stroke Lesson, if y'all look at the calendar, it is tomorrow night. Once One week during the month, 
I have to move it. I have to move it to Tuesday nights. So I last month and this month. So um, it's tomorrow night, not tonight. So that's why I'm on right now. <laughs> so maybe that's why I'm getting a few more views because they think oh, one stroke's tonight. It's one stroke lesson is tomorrow night. One stroke lesson. No, one stroke advantage lesson is tomorrow night. I just came on to teach people how to use fabric, how to make fabric paint with textile medium. And this is multi-surface and regular acrylic paint. And so see how vivid you can make it. But let me show you the, sorry for all those who didn't see that. Okay, so um, I'm gonna pick up white now with a little bit of neon. Now look what happens. We're gonna come right in here. So you haven't missed anything, except there's a lesson going on that y'all can come back and watch even. Okay. All right, this is the One Stroke Live. YouTube live. All right. So up here, I just hit a few with the white. See how that just, and just adding that teeny bit of white really makes your piece pop. Oh, this was supposed to be white and I didn't, I covered it with everything else. It's like a bud. Okay. I was online and got the notification thumbs up, everybody. <laughs> okay. All right. So that's when y'all got that notification. You thought it was one stroke advantage. I'm sorry. I'm just as out to confuse y'all today, huh? All right. So I'm going to get the neon and the white. So for any of you who didn't come on to see this in the first place, I have the pattern underneath. I use the IdentiPen to um, take and make the lines. And then I'm going to come in here and then start filling in like watercolor where you're just filling in all the petals. And some of it, I just put heavy white and the lines are going to show through. I'm going to go back and work on those, which I'll do that to this one too also. But we can come right in here and add a little bit of pink in here to that flower. And there you go. Now, I do one thing, always, always I splatter because I get stuff everywhere. And so I'm gonna show you that I'm gonna put water in here. Okay. All right, so I think people, or messaging me. Uh, okay. All right. So I am going to take white. Let's get, let's, since there's all this pretty purple, let's get the medium tap on a fan brush. All right. And you have to worry about this. It gets on everything. So, so I'm dropping heavy drops. But what's good about this is when it's done, see, I can do it on, even on the flower. What's good is if you have spots anywhere, like I don't know if y'all can see, I have some spots right here. And that's just dripping the medium and it won't wash out well. It's going to look like a spot. So I can come right in here. But this is going on my speaker, on my iPad. <laughs> okay, it's going on everything. Water, or sometimes on paintings, so on water. I'm, I am going in. See, I'm just going to come in here and cover up any spots. There you go. So that is one way to paint with fabric, and I'm going to show you a quick way to use stencils. Uh, All right. Now, I want you to see this really quick. 
I have all my stencils. You need to try if you get a chance to go check out the stencils. I have um, some long ones I wanted to show you that are really fun. This is a clothesline that I did a really fancy neighborhood in their art room. And they had me come teach. And they, they always can put 38 people in there. And sometimes it's not contemporary enough or dressy enough. I can't even tell you how many people went. Oh my gosh, they told stories about hanging clothes with their mom or their sister. And this is a stencil that I just put it right on and it, you, you get them white. This has a packet also. And I show you how to do a small one, how to put jeans on it. But see, there's a basket. So you can put the basket, you can put the daisies and you put the clothesline and whatever clothes you want. And you just stencil white after you do the background. We stenciled white and then you make the clothes any way you want it. So that is a 16 and a half by six stencil. All right. So that was fun. You did that in your laundry room. I saw, oh, yeah, I did. I did. Uh, we also have the truck. I just lost the truck stencil. So you can stencil on the truck and put Christmas tree. There's a Christmas tree in that stencil. I'm sorry. It was right here. But um, just, oh, here it is. I'm going to get it so you can see. All right. Everything's falling around me. All right. So here's your truck. All right. So the truck makes it many, many things. So this has a Christmas tree on it. I put pumpkins. I do all kinds of fun things. But it's a quick and easy project. And your whole truck's done and shaded. All right. Then this is... Uh, pick a fence that I put with the clothesline or put it with the uh, uh, snowy mountain um, cabin. Or you can put it in front or back of the truck. And then this I showed a little bit earlier. Look what it does um, when you paint a project and you put this behind it. Look what that does. It makes it look so much different than anybody else's. The birds are out there at the craft fairs and all that you're doing. Okay, so I want to show you. I'm going to put this on here with just plain metallic. And let you see but here's an all over print all right so you can just do hydrangeas all over wisteria or different ferns and here's here's one i do where it's just all kinds of leaves because most people say they don't know which way to put the leaves so you can move the leaves around and make a whole wreath of this all right i i have one i can show you i did really quick with just all black all right, I have a stencil it has, it's called Be Kind. It's got the bumblebee. All of this is on my site. And a lot of these things I make so that you can do it quick and easy. So you don't have to have patterns. So you can just, uh, like I do this one, this one on colored shirts all the time, darker shirts. I told you I really like doing light ones, but I use the stencil brushes. It's a set of three. These are killer because these are synthetic nylon. Everybody said, anybody who's used it has told me it is amazing. And so I'm thrilled to share those with you. And you can get that $10 off when you buy those and a couple little things with it. All right, so I did this Christmas wreath on these totes like this. And I just wanted to share with you how fun um, and quick it is because I, I stencil this on and then I paint a hydrangea or something on it or I paint nothing on it. All right, so I'm going to come here and work in this gold. I just grabbed a light gold, so hopefully that'll show for you. And usually I take it off here a little bit, but what I want you to see is that fabric soaks it up so fast. You're going to go left and right, left and right. Let's see if this shows up. All right, so look what happens. All right, just like that, very quick. All right, so I have all kinds of treasure gold. And I'm not even worrying on the pillows. Ikea 20 by 20 pillows we get all the time. Um, pillows or um, totes like this. You don't have to worry about medium because the paint's going to stay. And because this is soaking it up, most of the stenciling, the key is you got to work it in, work it off, and then go touch. All right. But on this, the cloth look. All right. Now, it's okay if it's blurry there, but say I don't want this to be very blurry. So I'm wiping it off. 
and I'm going to go real light on here, left and right, left and right, so it gets into every crevice. Okay, let's see what that looks like. See how perfect that makes it? All right. Uh, so a little bit more. Let's rub it off. This says Mason. M. <laughs> That's my husband. <laughs> or my son. Dewberry. You can put any part of this on you want, but this is vintage, vintage uh, lettering. But one of the things that was really hard, and I'm going to show you real quick. And and so I just want to make sure you know that I have a code here for y'all if y'all didn't see it yet. The, oops, oops, the code is um, right here somewhere. <laughs> the, the code is 9624. You put it checkout. Uh, members are waiting for you, honey. Did you need to schedule change? Michelle, it was for Tuesday night this week. This is the week it was Tuesday night. And so I don't know why it got on Monday night, but that's not what I'm scheduled. So maybe you can tell them that. It's tomorrow night, same time. All right, so 9624 is com. Save $10 on $50. Okay, so we're going to come right here. And this one, you're going to go up and down. So we worked really hard to get this, to get this, um, what do you call it? <laughs> An Eiffel Tower, because there's so much work on here. And so what I like to share with you is that um, if it's a straight line like this, you go just back and forth. And all right. All right. Circle, 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 circle. All right, there we go. All right, so then I just paint some flowers on here. But this on a t-shirt turns out really good. There's all kinds of metallics you can uh, um, do with it. So there we go. I want y'all to come check it out. There it is. We have all sorts of, I don't want to be upside down, so <laughs> I'm just going to share with you all sorts of packets, packets for picket fences, packets for the flowers I showed you today, and more. So thank you guys. I'm going to try to be on sometime Saturday, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.